Alright, now we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. And we've been doing this before, and absolutely this should be review, but I think it's really important to go over some of the terminology so that we can all make sure that everybody is familiar with um, that and knows exactly what's going on. So, let's look at an example of a polynomial. This right here is an example of a polynomial. Now how in the world are we going to know whether we're looking at a polynomial or not? Well, kind of to simplify matters uh, as much as possible, there are basically two um, criteria that you're looking for. The first one is you can have no negative exponents. And as you can see in this example, there are not any negative exponents, so we've passed that criteria. Now also, you can have no fractional exponents. So each one of our exponents must be a nice whole number. Um, 3, 2, 1, nothing. Those are, that's beautiful, no negatives and no fractions. Okay, now, very, um, polynomials are made up of terms. There can be one term, two terms, three terms, 5,000 terms, it doesn't matter. But there, it's just a big collection of terms. Now, here we have four terms in this polynomial. We are going to recognize those because terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So if I were going to list out the terms here in this polynomial, my first term would be 2x cubed. Then my second term here would be 5x squared. The third term would be negative 14x and the last term would be 25. Now notice that when I wrote those out, if it was a positive term, I didn't have to put plus because we assume uh, that if we don't see a sign that it is automatically positive. But because this was a negative 14x or a minus 14x, we have to put that negative in there to indicate the sign. So be careful for that. All right, now there are two different types of terms. Terms can be either variable terms or they can be constant terms. And a variable term is pretty much exactly what you'd think it would be. It's a term that contains a variable. So in our example here, the first variable term would be 2x cubed and then 5x squared and then negative 14x. The constant terms are terms that only have a constant or a plain number. So in this example, 25 is the only term that does not have a variable, so it's called the constant term. Now, for every variable term, there are two different parts. So let's look at our first uh, variable term here, the 2x cubed. The number in front of the variable is called the coefficient. And the variable itself, or the letter itself, is the variable part of that term. So every one of those is made up of a, co a coefficient, the number, and a variable, which is the letter. All right, now, let's see, let me get back up here to the top. Technically, if we wanted to get really, really specific about it, then even when we have a constant term, there technically is a variable. If I were to have x to the 0 power, if you'll remember back from our exponent rules, anything to the 0 power is a 1 and 25 times 1 is 25. So if we were, you know, being really technical about it, then um, there is a variable there, but we just don't really talk about that. Okay. Uh, lastly, the degree of the polynomial is always the highest power of the variable. So in our example that we've been working with, this would be a degree 3 polynomial.